Hi, uh, this is my second do-it-yourself guitar foot switch video. This is basically uh, for my amp. It's for my Vox 8030 VT amp. And basically this is the same foot switch as the Vox VFS2. So if you have a foot switch, or if you have an amp that's um, and um, you know that amp ha is compatible with the VFS2, this will work. And this should work with any of the box uh, amps that use that foot switch. Essentially, I got all the parts from Radio Shack. Very easy to make. It's about a 15-minute project. Um, so here it goes. You have to buy two of these switches. This is what it is. The push button, push on, push off switch, SPST item numbers listed on top. I'm going to write all that stuff uh, below in the description. Bought a pack of these. It's a quarter inch uh, stereo jack from Radio Shack. Comes two to a pack. And this diagram is going to be important later. This diagram written out with all the numbers. And, and when I show you my plan, the numbers should correspond to where the wires go. So this is what the jack looks like. Okay. And then um, I had a bunch of wires. You're going to need a bunch of wires. I use different colors to make it easy to identify the, the buttons and what each button does. So I have red wire, green wire, and two black for the ground. There you go. And then here it goes. This is a diagram. It's kind of crappy, but. Whatever, I'll write a full description of it. See how it works? It's very simple. Soldered everything together. Notice the black. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, the black. I connect one black from one button to another, and then a black from the button to the sleeve loop of the quarter inch stereo. Jack. Okay, here it goes. And then I'll show you what it looks like. I soldered everything. If you don't have a soldering iron, you can, or you don't know how to solder, you can actually use tape. I don't think it should matter. And if anything ever gets loose, you can always fix it. So here it goes. Very simple. And it works pretty nicely. I'll show you a bit. Uh, I have a little footage of it from my cell phone. Um, that I'll add to the end of the video. And you don't necessarily have to go with the jack option. You can actually use a stereo cable if you have one. Here it goes. So this is for my channel. This is for my bypass. Turns the bypass on and off. This is for channel one and two. Okay, very simple. Hope you enjoy. Um, if you have any comments, you can always ask me questions. You can list comments below. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, channel switch. Bypass switch.